As we're aware, this past May marked the one-year anniversary of the state's $41.5 million reconstruction of North Roosevelt Boulevard. Now, obviously, there have been many groans from many locals, but the project, it's not halfway done, so we're learning to adjust to it. There have been some changes made, and we'll talk about it this morning with our state representative, Holly Rashine. Holly, thank you for being back on the show with me. Good morning, Jenna. Yeah. Thank you, as always. All right, Holly. Now, I understand that the Department of Transportation Secretary was down here this past week for a town hall meeting, and it was all about the North Roosevelt Construction Project. Tell us about this meeting. Absolutely, Jenna. And I don't have to tell you, as a resident of Key West, uh, the difficulties that people and business owners especially have been having with this project, um, the devastating effects with uh, profits and just really the overall quality of life issues people are experiencing. Uh, my office worked closely with Mayor Cates' office to invite the secretary down to hear firsthand from the people and the businesses who are affected by this process and this project. Uh, we were pleased to have Secretary Anath Prasad of the Florida Department of Transportation down, our own uh, district secretary, Gus Pago, the secretary's chief of staff, and of course, Mr. A.J. DeMoya. He is the main contractor for the project. And they got a chance to sit and hear from probably over 60 members of the community. And the members of the community had a chance to, to air their grievances and to, to ad have the secretary address their concerns regarding this massive, um, this massive project. And it was such an honor um, for the secretary to come down here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a very busy man, obviously. But he is the guy on top. He makes the decisions. He, mm -hmm. he um, signs the checks. He decides how projects move forward and how quickly. And it was, uh, like I said, um, just really a nice opportunity to have him down here uh, to hear directly from the people. Great. And now, Holly, what were some of the issues that were raised at this meeting from, from the locals? Well, mainly about businesses and the impact that the one lane has had on, on these small mom-and-pop businesses. And there are some changes, chains, uh, as you know, along the boulevard. And um, the average business is down 30 percent, and that in, in just a recovering economy is, is not really the effect that we want. We also heard a number of concerns regarding the length of the project or how long it's taking, um, how behind it, it might be, and also the amount of workers that people see. And, you know, progress, you usually like to see boots on the ground, and I, I just don't think folks have seen that. Mm -hmm. And now what would you say was the overall outcome of the meeting? Well, thankfully, um, after a lot of public comment, uh, the secretary presented a, a, uh, a future, the, what to expect in the coming months and the, the coming year on this project. Hopefully by December of this year, December 2014, or excuse me, 2013, we'll have two lanes opened up, or two lane traffic opened up with a center lane from Jose Marti or Eisenhower Boulevard to Kennedy. And then in March, the entire stretch will be opened up with two lanes and a center turn lane. It did come up that there were a lot of businesses asking for two lanes now. Mm -hmm. But there were some concerns raised because if you open up just two lanes without a center turn lane, that will, that will back up traffic even more because the, then it's incumbent upon other drivers to be courteous and let people turn left. And we mm -hmm. all know we're all busy. We all have things going on. Mm -hmm. We're always running late. So the likelihood of that necessarily happening is, is pretty slim. But I know the, the secretary and his staff are working with the city commission and coming up with um, with either support or do we just maintain the project as is going on and wait till December and March? We um, we did hear from the secretary that he gave his word that this project will be completed, rain or shine, by July 2014. And he reminded us all that Demoya, the contractor, does a lot of work with the state, a lot of work all around the state, 
and it's in their best interest to get this project finished. Good. Well, that is definitely good news. And now, Holly, where do you see the project going personally since you've been involved with it now? Absolutely. I'd, I'd like to see if this um, two-way uh, by Labor Day, that was the date. The, mm -hmm. the secretary said, fine, you know, we'll, we'll try to get the two lanes open by Labor Day. I'd like to see a decision made on that. Is it going to work? Is it not? Also, after the meeting, um, Mr. DeMoya came up to me and said he would like to have a follow-up town hall just to check in with the community to see how things are go going. Um, is the extra signage working? Are the additional turn lanes that were proposed on Flagler, are those working? And I think that that is something that we absolutely need to do. And I think just, just allowing the public and the, the members of the community to have their voice heard from somebody directly from Tallahassee who makes the decisions was so beneficial. And also our city commission um, and, and mayor got to have their concerns addressed as well because they live here they deal directly with the people and the businesses, and I think that was um, that was helpful as well. Great. Now, Holly, let's get into a different topic this morning. Lobster season is here. We actually just talked about that on the show the other day, and I understand that you really want to file a bill for the 2014 session about illegal lobster. Tell me about this. Absolutely, and I'm hearing it's a great season out there. People mm -hmm. are, are catching their limits and going home and having some tasty, tasty lobster. And I am working with our state attorney, Catherine Vogel. She came to me with this idea. And basically, right now, if you're caught with one or 100 short lobster or undersized stone crab claws, it's just one second degree misdemeanor count. So whether you have, like I said, one or 100, it's just one count. And so there's really no deterrent out there for people to not abuse the situation. Mm -hmm. And so what our proposed bill will do is make each, each, spe or each extra or undersized lobster you have over the limit lobster, stone crab claw, or undersized species you have, one count. So those, you know, whether you have one or 100, if you have 100, that will be 100 counts against you mm -hmm. and I think it really provides some some teeth to the law mm -hmm. and more tools for law, enfor law enforcement to to um, combat this gross abuse of, of the system I think our commercial fishermen will be pleased with it I think it like I said it's pro pro commercial fishing pro natural resources and and tough on crime mm -hmm. so you feel that it's really important to have this change and and it sounds like what you're saying is that it could really then cut down on the illegal lobsters. absolutely mm -hmm. um, you know the, the the people who come down here and pillage our waters um, it's just is a detriment to to our to our community you know mm -hmm. we many people make their living off the water mm -hmm. and it's all about bolstering our our fisheries our natural resources and making uh, making the Florida Keys a more friendly place to to come and fish and visit and make a living I um, I'm working right now with a Senate sponsor over on the West Coast. You know, they have, uh, they have fishing, uh, f strong fishing industry over there, and we have already submitted the language to bill drafting, and we should have that out pretty soon. And as soon as we get the okay from, from our, our um, state attorney, I'm going to file that and get going. Mm -hmm. So great. So that should be in effect 2014. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to have it effective. Uh, usually July 1. Uh, is the effective date of bills as soon as possible, and that would make us ready to go for next, next. season's mm -hmm. lobster season. Great. Well, Holly, thank you for being on this morning, and I look forward to having you back next month to talk more with you. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jenna. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.